So one type of kripa or mercy is the mercy of protection of it. So the devotee and separation from his guru, as we told the story before, I think it was even titled on the Sunday satsang called Indra's Ghost Story. So he he was in a dip, this devotee was in some harassment by some subtle beings, and he cried out Krishna Nam, and he tried out, cried out Gaur Nam, and he cried out Radha Nam, and so many Nams, and nothing worked, and he was continuing to be harassed and mocked and made fun of by a subtle being. So then he thought, oh, that what to do? Who can I resort to? Who can help me? Who can protect me? Prabhupada, Prabhupada, Prabhupada. And then the subtle being disappeared and stopped mocking him and laughing at him, and he felt relieved and peaceful and cool mind. So sometimes even Krishna will hear the prayer, but Guru will always hear the prayer. The samacharyas, they say, when you're in difficulty, you should not disturb Krishna's leela. You're a disciple, you should pray to Guru. Oh, Guru, Guru Dev, please help me. So this story illustrates that the person, the devotee, first tried to cry out to Krishna and didn't work. And then Gauranga, Nityananda. So somehow at that juncture of time, in that particular circumstance, the devotee resorted to calling out the Guru. And other Gurus, they tell their disciples, when the disciple asks, what do I do when I'm in difficulty or fear or some lonely situation where I feel like crying out and I want some input and help and energy and support, which I'm not getting anywhere uh, from my surroundings or from the people around me, then I, what should I do? Whom should I pray to? So the guru said, you should cry out to Krishna. And then the disciple might say, but some gurus, they say you should cry out to guru. You should not disturb Krishna's pastimes. You should let him enjoy his leela and thus call on the mercy of guru. And then the teacher, one teacher said, but that's Krishna's pastime. <laughs> Krishna's pastime is saving his devotees. Why, why, why does he come? Because in Gita, he says he comes to be with the devotees, enjoy the ras of their, their seva, but he also comes to protect them. Parichanaya saranam venashaya chatuspritam. He says, Parichanaya, I says, I, he comes to deliver the devotees, I mean, save them, and he comes to destroy the demons. This is in fourth chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, verse number seven, I, I suppose. And yada yada hi dharma siya gwanya bhavati bharati. So we can also cry out to Krishna. <laughs> yes.